Tenant is many things, but bad it is not. All I have for you is a word. Tenant. Tenant is directed by my favorite director of all time, Christopher Nolan. And he directed my favorite film of all time as well, The Dark Knight. I was looking forward to watching the movie in the theater, but you know what happened already. So I couldn't, but I finally watched it in glorious Blu-ray, and it looked awesome, and it was fantastic. To the people who say it was all like exterior and not, no substance, it is a lot of exterior. Trust me, it is a perfect exterior, but it, there is a lot of substance. You just weren't looking, you were just too occupied about the exterior. At its simplest, Tenet is about two guys trying to stop one guy from killing himself to end the world. So, did they succeed? I don't know. It's a spoiler-free video, although I really want to get into spoilers because, yeah. Okay, I'm going to explain the ending without giving away anything. So, actually, I don't know, I can't, I don't know if I can. <laughs> Never mind, it's going to give away the spoiler too much. So, what I liked about the film. I, I, I liked everything. The characters were great. They they weren't given mu much backstory, but then again, it's a Christopher Nolan film. He wants you to ask questions. Um, the, the visual effects are amazing. This is why he's my favorite director. He doesn't use CGI. He does, well, he only uses it when it's necessary. Like Interstellar, it was necessary. How he, he could, more than likely, he couldn't have just gone to space. I don't think, and throw Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey into a black hole. I don't think that would be possible. So I mean, it is, but I don't think he wouldn't. Who would want to do that? So he he makes these big scaled things. When the plane crashed into the airport, that was that was um real, and I could tell it was real. With other movies, I could tell that CGI, but this one I could tell it's real, like the inversion stuff. It will, I've seen back behind the scenes, and then when he picks up like the bullet, it, it's real. He's exactly like, well not exactly, but he's like Quentin Tarantino. And the way that they both don't use CGI in their movies. That is why they're, that is why they are one of my favorite directors. Michael Bay is also one of my favorite directors. Hey, hey, I, I'm entitled to my opinion. Because he uses CGI with practical effects. That's the best way to use CGI to enhance the story along with practical. So that is why I, l I love practical because it's real. And Christopher Nolan does it perfectly here. I don't know how he does most of his stuff. I don't, I, I just, and I don't care to because I just want to keep that imagination on how he does it. Hey, I'm talking only about exterior. I never talked about substance because it is too complicated, the substance. I can, and it's like going to spoiler territory, so I cannot talk about the substance. So, um, yeah, I kind of contradicted myself when it said it's too much exterior and no substance. I can't talk about the substance, but th there is, okay? Trust me. Yeah, there is substance. <laughs> but I can't get into it because it's going to be spoil spoil spoilery. One thing upon the uh, multi multiple things that are great about the movie is the soundtrack the soundtrack was like a loud i love it's amazing the soundtrack i wish i could have been in the theater because i wonder how it would have been the soundtrack and the with the big speakers but it is it is very good some some tracks some of them work on the scene but they're kind of forgettable like afterwards but there's like two of them i don't know their names that are that stuck with me but yeah more than likely but more, just like two, but the whole thing and in, in the moment is great. As well, I have a problem with like with the way they use tenant. I don't know if this is a spoiler or not. So mini spoiler, I'm not so sure. They he says that I'm gonna give you one word, tenant. They never say it again for the rest of the movie. I'm like, what happened with tenant? Isn't that supposed to be like important? But it's Christopher Nolan. He can get away with it. So overall, tenant is great. Very, very complex, around, especially around the end. The end is very confusing, but once you like, okay, 
this movie got me like, oh, that's why, this is why, this is who's that, and this is why that happened, and why, yeah. I love it when movies do that, so I, I love this movie. So, it is a very good movie, I highly recommend it, and don't listen to the people who says it's bad, because their opinion is wrong. I'm just kidding, they're entitled to their opinion, even though it's wrong. <laughs>